And we're back. And we continue our journey with Amagos. And it looks like we're heading to the Tower of Zop. Back to Crow. Since there have been progress in both investigations, shall we share the findings of our respective locales? has certainly been eventful. In my opinion, carrying out Vitra's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all but exhausted our avenues of investigation. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea Connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnair. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us, what can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? According to Orenvold and Fordola's report, they were unable to free the Amolja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal. Thus, the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem unnecessary. Unless, of course, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders would be met with overwhelming force. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. T'was by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained, and I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Destroy the core, and the tower ceaseth to be, thus liberating the captives without harm. So we can hope, and I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances of the defenses remaining dormant are small to none. Any primals will have to be dealt with, and defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. May we not then divide our forces? Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Uriange, Cryo, Yostola, and myself. The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk, but it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcasodera by a considerable margin. Alright, so just pointing to Alphano, and it, it basically, you're giving me a party of, of five here, but, uh, I mean, Alphano, uh, yeah, I need a healer, <laughs> I get that, uh, but uh, um, I, I don't need DPS, and well, yeah, Ali's A, she knows a healing spell or two. That she does. But I think Alize herself would assert that she's at her best when she's charging under the breach. And from what I recall from the Grand Cosmos, there's a spring in her step when she fights by your side. Ye gods, will you never let me hear the end of that? <laughs> Rest assured that I will do what is asked of me, regardless of who I happen to be standing next to at any given time.
It seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rads at Han of our movements, so let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. The military post in what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging point. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being late. Here's the thing is, I haven't done a dungeon without a Stinian, and I have this thing. See, here's one thing that would be kind of cool, because right now, the makeup of the Assault Party versus the Yelling Party is there's five of us, which means one of the five is replaced, or one of the four others is essentially replaced by me. So... I like the combination of a melee DPS and a ranged DPS. So we we do have in roles we have we have Thancred as a tank, we have uh, Estinian as a melee DPS. He's he's a dragoon, of course. We've got Alize, who's a red mage, who's this weird combination of ranged magic dps and melee because you know they have the whole leg sword <laughs> so kind of a range and melee all at the same time but still range dps in general and then we have the healer of alpha now if if this was wow Or Final Fantasy decided to expand what a light party is. You would have one tank, one healer, and three DPS instead of just two. You have a party of five. That way, I don't have to make a choice. I don't have to replace any one of these four people. Uh, I think the main thing is they have somebody of each role. So that no matter what, if you want to play DPS, you go... You can, you can, and then you just replace one in the DPS. Somebody gets left out, which kind of makes me silly. And that whole uh, Alize with spring in her step, yeah, that was kind of cool. That's, well, that's Alize. <laughs> However, I am 82, and usually at around this time, you're still 81. So, I'm... Okay. I'm actually going to Red Mage. I'm going to Red Mage the dungeon. Afterwards, switch back to Reaper and things. Maybe a later dungeon, I'll do uh, Reaper and uh, the Trials, I'll do Reaper. But I'm going to Red Mage. Sadly, I don't have, like, all the augmented. Although, I'm only missing, like, two pieces. Three if you count the ring. This ring here. So, I'm not too bad. Yeah, it glows during the daytime. It is really bright here. Like, whenever I turn the reshader on, oh my god, look at that. Like, vibrant colors, yeah, that's kind of cool, but detail, like, gets blotted out. I'm sure there's another reshader, it might be a little better, but. 
I have found there are a few times where I kind of like having the reshader, but in general, uh, I don't think I do. During dark places, the reshader is kind of nice to have. Ah, well, friend for me, is yeah. We've been expecting you. You and your yours will lead the mission to the tower, I am told. The word in scales will be delivered soon. Till then, please stand by the boat, boat we have ready. When your f fellows arrive, I will direct them to join you. Pray for your safety and success. Some people hanging out in a Christmas get-up. Being nice Christmas day. By the way, uh, Amagos' color theme is red, and I find that this is a little more pink than this red. I need to visit an anesthetician to, to see if I can fix the, the coloring. It's supposed to match. But it's also the reason why I picked Red Mage for him. This is the future of Aetherite travel of stick to boats. Aye. No morning, however emphatic, could have prepared me for that. On account of which, we are a little late, but fighting fit, mostly. My friends, permit me to thank you for accepting this mission. You must be... <clears throat> we should call you Varshan, I suppose. Indeed, it would not do to, to confuse our soldiers. Very well, then. For our part, we are humbled that you see fit to entrust us with your world in scales. Please convey as much to His Excellency. One for each of you. Please accept them with my blessing. Oh, thanks. With these, we, would go we can go anywhere those with the breath of light can go. Not only for this operation either, but for all the ones to come. We can finally break your, we finally break your monopoly and primals. <laughs> In that case, they're all yours for that. Huh. But I'm afraid you can't let you retire just yet. You're the sign's brightest star, after all. If anyone is amenable to us, let us review the strategy for good measure. As previously agreed, we will divide into two groups. Emigos and his band will break through the tower's defenses and locate its core. Meanwhile, the rest of us will tend to the prisoners who are doubtless want for healing due to the duress of repeated summons. Primals which the tower bringeth forth shall be deities of Thavenarian myths. As we have no prior experience with such foes, pray exercise the utmost caution when confronting them. We commence the operation on your word, my friend. For the people of Thavida, nay, the entire world, world, we must prevail. a party and enter the Tower of Zot. Sorry, Ali's a right Meganistinian. Alphano, of course, healing. Thank you. And Alphano gets to test his metal as a sage. Ow. 
I I haven't actually done the Tower Zot on a Red Mage yet, so. Summoner! But not Red Mage. This will be interesting. I'm gonna turn the volume down. That's... My ears too, so I can hear myself. So, from my understanding, this music is based off of Final Fantasy. Some music in Final Fantasy IV. So. We start off with all eight of us. Kryl, Yishtola, Norianje, and Krahatia are basically on their own, not part of the party. So for a short while, it's the eight of us. And here's where the split happens. The primals have been summoned. Look, the beastly mass. They are the Monsuba. They come to life. We'll focus on sustaining the Akasodra. The rest of you must keep going. Onwards and upwards.
Mindaruva. Oh, watch the cast bar. Transmute fire. One of the reasons why I like doing this with the trust is if I miss like some of the things that uh, are being listed, like the cast bar and stuff, I can follow their lead. <laughs> Transmute bio, so we're going to have to be behind that one. Oh, it's that one. Ah, uh, I didn't use my, uh, let me break. Okay. Well, before I forget.
50 for single target, 60 for <clears throat> multi target. Because the goal is to rack up the three hits that I need for to do a full melee combo. And there's the uh, for Holy for Flare and uh, Scorch uh, all have uh, are all AOE no matter what. Nothing for casting. Nothing. Sandruva. And then Estinian does it. Ah, I did that wrong. Okay, so I still don't know how they figure out who is the real Sandaruva.
I mean, there's gloves and maiming because, well, I got a full uh, augmented Crypt Licker set, so. What do you mean? Well, my machinist will be happy for that. Still no casting. There's only two of them here. Healing. I don't even need that. I think, yeah, this is the last pack.
I mean, it's looking the mechanical device. No matter the cost, we must protect the power tower. I'm going to select the Magus sisters. Everybody thought, everybody thought that they were going to be a trial. Here's Dunder Boss. Why is that? We'll find out. This is a crazy fight.
Oh, wow. That was enjoyable. That was high paced. That was. Oh! I think I got, did pretty good. I finally got my, my double melee combo feeling because I was really bad about not using Scorch during the first melee combo. Ah! Oh! Oh! That was so good. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. All right. I think I could use anything. I can't use anything. I have Ver Arrow 3. All right. Nothing good in the chest, really. I can't really use the, the helm I got because I already got a better helm. Eh. Ah! That's satisfying. All right. Uh, I can't switch to Reaper while, while I'm here. If anything, I did this while on the Red Mage, so we'll stick with this. It's fine. That was a good fight. Like doing that on Red Mage. Magics we could. Have the d all appears quiet for the moment. Lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Stola? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. This is the core we seek. Yet something is off. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. It is as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Curious. There is something there embedded inside the core. A man's limb. This is what we came to destroy? Yes, if you would be so kind. That should be the end of it. Oh. What now? My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction doth appear to be correct. Bully for you! And how are we supposed to survive the fall? Graha is casting another miraculous spell. Uh. Here's all the Arcosotra. Oh, what happened? Where are we?
by my reckoning. We're still on the island where the tower stood, but tis as if it never existed. Hardly a scratch, but how? Ah, or words there himself again. Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. That explains the lack of obvious injuries. The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Then the immediate problem is what to do with our new friends here. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Angelo and I will take care of that. I have every faith in you, Alizé, but there are just too many for you to treat alone. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porksies, and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Hail, Scions! We were watching the tower when it simply disappeared. What happened here? The threat is banished, and thy people delivered. They are, however, in need of treatment. And we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. You shall have all this and more. Come, let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. Now, here's my thoughts here is. Yes, this is a small group, and there's a bunch of elephant-sized men here. I am assuming this is just a sample, and then in-game, less people, easier to render, and everything. May have come as, as a small group, but they've got a whole bunch of people in shore. Again, everything's actually, like, in real world this to get a little brighter in real world things are much bigger there's more people there's more stuff uh, that you can't necessarily get from one end of the city to another in like 30 seconds or a minute minute with a quick sprint all of these places are much bigger than they seem in game so, how are they going to haul all these elephant-sized men? They might get some more elephant-sized men to help them. Um, and they'll figure it out. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Suspension of disbelief. Alright, we're at night time, so... Bring back the UI. Back to Sangrid. Liberated prisoners have been transported to Razatan for treatment. Alize and Yeshnoda will oversee the administration of the temporary treatment with support of those who have a hidden spell or two. We'll go and join them in the city once we have got a moment to catch our breath. Oh wait, fine. I'm gonna get back to it. I'm only getting the dungeon XP on the Red Mage, not the regular X of the quest XP. You may now enter the Tower Resort with a party of NPC avatars. Make use of this feature over the trusted interface located under duty in the main menu. Basically what I'm probably end up going to do uh, with, uh, when I go offline is actually hop on, 
So, little, little point of order. Down over here, you see where I have all my, my the jobs listed? I have columns, uh, or rows here. I've got like melee DPS, tanks, the ranged DPS with Dragoon at the end. <laughs> There's five, and the, really. Range DPS, uh, magic, healers. Yeah, have this all set up in a certain, certain way. I think it might be lagging because of the reshader, so I'm going to turn the reshader. All right, I have this set up in a certain way. Wait, right. so my main jobs uh, for each of these roles because like if you go into to the classes of jobs you have them sorted out within and killer melee dps uh, physical range and, and medical magical range magical range has blue mage blue mage is a limit job so i don't think it really counts never got around this this character but i did a little sort so i've got three characters you know right here right so i've got elegos my main this this is the one which i do like by myself, normal. I don't stream him. You've seen him before when I was doing some of the class quests. I'll get back to that as soon as I kind of clean everything up here uh, and then be like, oh, I want to show other content. Well, let's show those. We'll get back to that at a later date. Uh, but we got Elegos. So Elegos has always been named as a monk. One of the reasons why I leveled Essigos as a monk is because I was very familiar, I enjoyed it. Lately I decided, hey, you know, each of these characters should have their own specialties. Mains, to be precise. So, also looked at some thematic things, like a lot of the, the base art for... So... So for... Emigos here. A lot of the main art of Reaper has, and actually I think for the, the job action trailer, it was a Horathkar that was the Reaper. So I decided that Reaper would go to to uh, Emigos. Gunbreaker would go to Emigos because Gunbreakers were based out of Boja. Uh, Boja has a lot of Hrothgar, and actually the guy who teaches you to Gunbreaker is a Hrothgar. So, Hrothgar, it just seemed appropriate. The rest was just kind of willy-nilly. Um, uh, Elagos, I had gotten up as, as Dancer for his uh, range DPS. I really enjoyed it. The level 80 job quest uh, cutscene for Dancer, uh, I loved with uh, Elegos. Not so much when I got Dancer up before for Essigos, but... Um, and I haven't gotten Dancer up to 280 to see my Hrothgar uh, do it. With that, a later time. Um, and uh, so I decided Machinist for some reason. I think it's probably because with Essigos, I decided to be relatively like original classes or original jobs. Um, so we got White Mage, Black Mage, Bard, Paladin. Ninja, which wasn't quite original because uh, actually Dragoon would have been more of the original, but I'm not a fan of Dragoon. Plus he's little. I think the little ninja works perfectly. Uh, Red Mage, the reason is because I decided to start theming. Oh, so he's uh, Red Mage because I started theming colors, so. Elegos is blue. Essigos gets purple. And then Emigos is red. So I decided that 
he would be red mage. And I just decided Sage. I think because I had Astro. I had uh, Astro for Elegos. I loved as, uh, Astrologian on uh, Elegos. It's my favorite. Elegos I gave for the tanking Dark Knight, mainly because I was getting Essigos Paladin. Actually, in some sense, it's kind of like this category of, of like my favorite tanks. So I love Gumbarker. Dark Knight I enjoy. Paladin. Eh. Warrior. I'm really not a fan of. So. Warrior is currently out. I probably should. I probably could like throw in another uh, character to kind of make this four. Before you would have two melee class uh, classmates. <laughs> And Caster would just be summoner just because, because well, he <laughs> level scholar because that's the heal the healer. I've been thinking about it, thinking about it. Not necessarily something I'm actually gonna do. Um, I actually kind of hope that next expansion they would look at this and be like, okay, we need to to like even out the numbers in each of these categories. <laughs> And that the next expansion, no tanks, no healers, just a ranged APS and a caster DPS. <laughs> I know it's like we just had a new ranged DPS last expansion with Shadowbringers, but <laughs> they're gonna do a new job. Let's start to even these out. Uh, you could look at it like in range or six ranged because there's three casters, and three physical. Uh, but they, especially considering this ex expansion, they're doing the a role quest with a physical range and then a caster range as two separate things. But they really still consider it two separate categories. Hell, it's in the in here they they have it. Yeah, they kind of have a fourth uh, a caster with blue mage, but because it's a limited job and you can't just play it, you can't MSQ it. Barely do, he can't really do any quests with it. It's all just about grinding, grinding, grinding. It's doing fates, sure, or something like that. It's awful. I don't like it. It's, there's lots of fun, I think, if you get the spell, learn all the spells and get max, max level uh, and everything. But I, I see that there's fun in it. It's just, Getting into it is difficult. It's amazing. So I got this all categorized out. Let me do this. Oh my gosh, all greens there. I got it all categorized out and everything's hunky dory. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. I need to refill beverages. Uh, I'll be right back. Look at these split. So, enjoy this background music and we'll get back to, to the story. After that amazing tower is up. Oh my gosh. That last fight. I am so proud of myself for that. It was so much fun. Probably. Ugh. Okay. I love it. Here back.
on it, but ended up having these restroom big smart tea. <laughs> Have enough rest, have you? Never will one, one for being idle. Right, for so Sean bade us to, to come to the Mega Junta at our convenience. The others will join us there once they have finished ten minutes presents. Ah, wait. In second thought, you and Stingy should go on ahead. Then you made a quick detour about the great work. We left Grahog in the ark with his care, you see. Let's to fetch him before he's crammed into a special jar. Just you and me, then. The gods meant to get you with us through. I promise I'm not gonna run around the city and get all the Aetherite charts. We're just gonna follow the path laid out before us. We'll get the, the, the Aetherite shards as we go along. What I really don't like about these maps is that it's really hard to see the roads. The one thing I do like about WoW is that the roads, they, are, it, they dis make them distinct. Uh, they are clearly marked on the map, and uh, even when you're not on the map, you'll... Uh, uh, there'll be markers, like a marker or something like that. So it's easy to tell. Here, not so much, which kind of annoys me. Save on poetics, I think upgrade my ring. Ah, I know time, so you're free to enter that generation. As I cannot leave my post, I'm afraid you must make your own way. Should you require directions in the city, the center is stationed at the fountain at the top of the stairs, you'll be glad to see. Though I've been to Rotterdam before, this place is a veritable maze. Uh, then risk, risk getting lost, we best ask for directions from the sentry at the fountain. Lead the way, and don't expect me to act as your tour guide like Slit Mothers. Sydney is now accompanying you. Blah blah blah. Ah, oh, Master Elagos, I presume. I understand you are here for an audience with the Satrap. If you require direction to the Mega Duta, I should be glad to provide you with them. The Satrap's residence is situated in Dama, the highest part of Ratsatar. To get there, I would only recommend a route which takes you by the bazaars in the city's north. Due to the state of alert, however, most businesses are currently closed. The eight right disabled. As such, I would provide you with an alternate First, please ascend the stairs next to this fountain. We we'll continue back. There will be more steps, and upon ascending them, you will emerge on Tasker's path. Proceed through the large door on the right, and you will arrive at the Ravis Fibers. Within, you will find another sentry who will give you further. In other words, we head out. 
Come stay far enough. There's a bonus conversation I'm not going to hit. into the Megaduta, are you? In that case, please follow this hallway to my right. Go through the door at the top of the stairs. You'll emerge at the entrance to the airship landing, where another sentry should be on hand to assist you. Incidentally, if you ascend the steps to either side of me, you will find the workshops of Riz. Uveda's fabrics. Though you're free to observe the artisans, please care not to lose your way. There is an Ethernet shard not far off, so... If you are here for your ship, I'm afraid all flights have been suspended until further notice. But this state of alert is still in effect. Perhaps it's for the best. That aside, we're not here for an airship. We have business at the Megaduta. Oh, in that case, permit me to direct you. From here, it is quite simple, really. Descend the stairs, then continue straight ahead and across the bridge. And let me see. I'm not going to do the bonus conversation, which talks about the, the Hamsa over there. And gradually through this, we have plenty of opportunities to get the Anthem in so... There was one... I don't think I had to do this one. Come in that direction again, I can quickly do through it and then pop over here if necessary. Greetings and welcome to Megaduta. We inquire after your business. Uh, no, he. We inquire about your business. You are members of the Science of the Seventh Tom came here at the invitation of His Excellency. Ah, of course. We've been expecting you. I will show you into the audience chamber if you would please follow me. To arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. Not at all. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. Much better, thank you. Harness remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Valiant Sons, 
For your heroism, you have my boundless gratitude. You cast down that dire tower and set free its hapless captives. You cleanse their souls of its corrupting influence. No words of thanks will suffice. In place of platitudes, I offer a bounty of warding scales. Pray accept your due reward, along with the goodwill of Radzatan. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. The finished ones have been collected and now await you at the High Crucible of Alchemia. Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. We are humbled by your generosity. Know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Tis of no moment. A mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Albeit brief, my involvement in the Dragonsong War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. And yet, you chose to live among men. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here, secret and still, hoping against hope that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. It would seem we share the same desire for peace, Great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days, an apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Nay, when war and strife drove my sire from his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as company. He alighted upon a shattered source, its thirteen reflections long since scattered beyond the rift. Of events preceding his arrival, he knoweth not, save that which Hydralin hath deigned to disclose. I see. So again, tis the inscrutable Hydralin to whom you must look for answers. Seek you to divine the will of this star. If so, I have a tale which may afford you some small comfort. Tis a story from my youth, many, 
many years ago. To my sire, I once posed the question, Of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? To which Midgard Summer did reply, "'Twas the last bastion of hope. He believed, so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might dragonkind. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. Yet take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned my sire's conviction. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Talophoroi is far from finished. We must take our leave, but please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. Privy, a moment. There is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aeosia's champion. This hero of renown and rumor, tis thee. She could be with us now. I know of his clash with Omega and the long slumber which was his price. Yet even closed in sleep, my father's eyes are far from blind. He is watching over thee, watching over this world. Was a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained Midgard Summer's trust, but alongside my elation runneth a rivulet of dread. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. Amidst this tangled knot, thou shalt know no rest. Tis an endless confluence of forces, a struggle without surcease. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Apalimo, Infidia, Oshofon, take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope thou wilt need come the end. Even cowering behind my curtain, I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my siblings driven mad by loss. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort to keep thy loved ones safe. Ah, 
Apologies. We hadn't meant to interrupt. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out... Tis I who must apologize. I have detained your champion over long with idle chatter. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall, where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. One of the bad things I'm at is adjusting the volume for the different cases. So, what were you talking to Vitra about? Eh, nothing much. Nothing? Very well, if you say so. The others have gone ahead head to the High Crucible. Let's catch up with them. The attendants of has was kind enough to give us directions to the High Crucible. First, let's return to the Mulberry Orchard. Plus side here is they they give us directions during this, but which also causes you where you can't necessarily use Aetherite shards. Like, I know I need to go to here if I had already attuned to that one. I, I can't just teleport there. I have to do the walk. It's kind of annoying, but yeah, it's fine. From here, we're supposed to follow the path left and pass the mulberries. Mulberries. Ethernet shard. I said it right. Ethernet instead of Ethernet. Although it should be Aether. It should be Aether because there is a thing called Ether, which is just E T H E R, which is supposed to give you, uh, or uh, for like. Refill MP. The street turns, enter the door straight ahead, then descend the steps. I thought the Crystadium was confusing, but that doesn't compare to the Rotsaton. Their architecture and decorations make it even harder to get your bearings. Anyway, let's see where this door takes us. Hi. We'll see you later. Although I do know of a perfect opportunity to grab this shard, I have this obsession of wanting to have all the shards. Do that one. Oh. Hey, this is just where we were.
And here is the Aetherite Plaza. So good. So far, so good. There isn't much further to go. From here, we need to cross to the other side of the hall and pass through the larger of the two doorways. The High Crucible lies beyond. I suspect the others have already collected the warding scales. Come, let us join them. The thread is disabled. We can't attune to it. You know, it's right there, all shining and everything. Because just like in Shadowbringers and Yulemore, you get all the Ethernet shards. Not the Ethernet. It is kind of annoying. I'm tuned to all the Ethernet shards and rats at home. Well, last, of course, but at least we found the place. These are the talismans we were promised. Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far more than we could have hoped for. Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Sot. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper and strike directly at the Telophoroi's base of operations. Of course, we would need to consult with various Alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. To which end, I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. I can head eastward. 
Bosnia and Dalmasca are just a short hop from here. And Doma's Shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. We shall share the burden then. Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldessian Annex. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. Please, I must speak with you. Nidana, you're awake. Yes, when I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. It seems I've been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke yeah. and learned you were all Not still here, I knew I had to come. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. All of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You've saved Havnir from an awful fate. Yet who hath truly saved whom? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Replications of thy work now stand ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. The talisman? Is this true? Oh, I was so groggy from sleep. I didn't even think to ask. Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. Look at that. Its color is completely changed. What do you have there? How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feelings. You imply that it is distinct from ether. Our foreign scholars often conflate the two, but we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach. A gift bestowed from on high, or torn from the heavens in some traditions. Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. 
As a veteran of the battlefield, surely you've experienced moments of desperation or exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. That is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. And it breaks. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. I am sorry. Nonsense! You have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. Shall we depart for Charlian then? I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the Annex. And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. For being absorbed into the tower, so you rushing towards me. I only imagine the hardships you and yours must have overcome to rescue us. Your amount of words will suffice to express my gratitude, but I hope the flowers ready and close is everything I can offer. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick trip, I believe. Kugane is actually. Actually, I don't know. I've got return. We'll take them back to my home point, which is there. So, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna go with Kuna. Kuna. My my face paint is bugging me, being slightly off color for my tattoos. They need to match. A peek at the uh, anesthesia and it's the titian. Did I, did I do that unlock on screen? I don't remember if I did. Anyways, crystal bell. Fuck the. Don't think I have a thing, so I'm gonna have to pay for it, but that's okay. Fine, I got plenty of money. Oh, yes. As once did this very realm from the darkest steps of unseemly ugliness, shall you rise anew. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's. Okay. So the the, the colors. I, I just need to make sure all the colors match. So the the red fur color here, the red here, and the red in my. Uh, see, this is a little bit different than than this. I need to make sure they all match. So. I think the tattooed color has got it. So I've got one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think I got it. So face paint color. Oh. I just put it here. 
here. Okay, so there's a problem here. I have more of a plethora of colors. But is this the same? Yeah, okay, so the tattoo and the furs are matching. It's the base paint color, which is a little, but the problem is that the number of colors See if I can get the right environment to, to, to work. It, it needs to be dark. Ooh, no. Can I not get this same color? I don't think I can. help with the color. Maybe I can met this.
to happen by a team. I think we're good. I think I think Is it two thousand gil? Yes. Two thousand gil, that's um Well once was it with a shoveled shell of a man there now shines a beauty reborn. should be much more uh, consistent. I know, just minor details, but still. Alright, let's go back up. Brief modifications. good to be back and with the fruits of our labor safely in storage. For now, we have but to wait for the others to return from their respective meetings with the Alliance leaders. Ms. Thancred suggested you should get some rest in the meantime. Well, well, it isn't much. You've changed your sheets and plumped your pillow after... Uh, again, accidental clicks. Pillow. After all, there's nothing like collapsing in a nice clean bed after completing a major milestone. And be it penny, penny the thesis of defeating deiform entities. So, would you like to take a look at your new and improved lodgings now? Hey, remember the whole Arbert thing that was last expansion? It's gray now. Take heart and protect them well. Good, you're here. Eaten yet? Have you? We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. That's a mm, huge mm, burger. Mm. It's ginormous. <laughs> Apparently, Alize doesn't like pickles. Mm. Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. But he refused with a rather grim faced no thank you. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. 
Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. And there's Alphano. Poor Astinian, beset on all sides. Getting all scientific and medically accurate. Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Quile, I hear you recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Oh, and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. If anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. Of her presence since. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Twill be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Come to think of it. Isn't that what happened with Nidana, back in Radzat Hahn? Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow. As if... reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. Indeed. And in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlophoroi, or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day, Hey, that's mine. To the swift the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. Mm, only barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. Mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume? Aye, and from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. Twas necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. I... Uh, yes, well, after a fashion. Elves, they're too tall for me. And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? Oh. oh. <laughs> Donuts, muffins, cookies, burgers, pizza. Heart in the middle. Hey, wait. We're pushing till dawn. Can we call it a night? You know that these are my quarters. Mm. Emma Ghost, I think, is one of those. more responsible. for people. Thank you. 
One last cup of tea, then. Dickens said this brew helps relax the mind before bed. And gave us some leaves for free. joy, but happiness. Well, here we go. Ah! Enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur? Or fashioned from the skins of your enemies? Or... Well, never mind that. I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Thavnir has been toppled. And I need not tell you by whom. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes questionable. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. Ah, uh, yes. Very well, then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly. Talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm... No. All else is... equal. Equally tedious. Equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow, until the void yawned once more. And then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn. Burn. Let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. How wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. 
You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing, disjointed, all the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me, so I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you, And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Yes, I think that is something we can both enjoy. All right. Wings of hope. Pink. Pink. All right. So we finished all the eighty one quests. Next up is uh, eighty two. Next part. And uh, this is a good stopping point. Uh, we are we have finished the chapter, so we had our initial main quest in order to establish our base in Charlotte. We had our sharp main quest chain in the Labyrinthos. Uh, we had our Thavnir quest chain, which led us into their duty into the Tower of Zot. Let us into the Jewel of Stadion with uh, our Wings of Hope. All this uh, is a great stopping point, so we're actually going to stop here for tonight. Uh, and we will continue to the next part. So what is the next part? Well, it's actually the next zone, uh, which you'll find out about next time. So thank you for joining, thank you for watching, uh, whether on YouTube. Comes out loud. In the mingle tomorrow. Where we just kind of like hang out, play some games. It's gonna be kind of fun. That's what's uh, up next for the OL 600. Uh, the the Cubs Out Loud holiday party. Uh, we're doing it with Google Meet, so that'll be interesting. Alright, uh, we'll catch you next time. Uh, Mike stream some tomorrow before the Jingle Mingle? Let's see. We will celebrate Boxing Day together. We got a little bit late, but I also started a little late, so it's appropriate. Alright. Have a good one.